Well, we're making progress. So the, the current status is that I've got the mounting plates um, installed for the sub box and the amp. Uh, and basically, I just got um, really thin, I think it was 3 8 inch um, plywood and use liquid nails it's about 24 inches i guess um liquid nails down to the the trunk floor and then the kill mat over that and then i have these right angle uh, brackets uh, two on each side and then there you can see them going the other direction angle the other direction in the corners because um, I want to make sure that the sub box can come out, but when it's in there, it is uh, secure. I don't want that thing to be uh, uh, possibly turning into a projectile. And then similarly, behind the seat, I just use a, a really small piece of the same 3 8 um, It's only about a foot wide. Um, and it's actually stuck to the, the kill mat that's underneath here. Um, and then kill mat over the top of it, just so you don't see any of the wood. Um, the, this one doesn't need to be nearly as secure because it's just going to be the amp on there, but I wanted to make it oversized so I can put different size amps on there down the road. Um, but everything's all um, sound deadened, um, so now it'll just be finishing up the wiring, and then all the carpet can go back in, and we can turn it on tomorrow and test everything and see how it looks and sounds. So there's a quick uh, uh, visual of how the box I'll put in there. I just got a simple 10-inch or single 10 inch wedge shape just because I didn't in the zero ones you don't actually have the cubby on the uh, passenger side here it's filled with some electronics and I just wanted something that was easy to uh, to take in and out so the only thing that'll poke out from the carpet are, are these these brackets uh, and then it'll just get screwed in and then when I take it out it'll just be pop off there and do the uh, uh, speaker terminals and it comes right out it looks pretty clean